Today we're going over the mock contest winners. Now to be completely honest with you, this video took me way longer to make than I would have hoped, but that was because I had nearly 20 people submit, which is a lot of people, but I do appreciate the support and the participation you guys showed. However, it did take me a long time and I was originally going to incorporate every single mock, but that would have resulted in a 20 minute video. So instead, I am just giving my top three favorite mocks. I do also want to say that there wasn't a single mock I looked at and did not like. You guys did a fantastic job, so I'm sorry I can't present all of the mocks to you, but these three are my favorite. Taking the number three spot is Kirk Wilson of Vision Bricks. He submitted a Lego Ninjago Movie Factory mock. What I liked so much about this mock was the fact that I had not seen something like it in a very, very long time. Kirk did a really good job of putting texture where there needed to be texture, such as in the stonework in the walls, and I did get really excited when I saw that he used the snot building technique to make the floors because I personally use that technique a lot, so when I see other people do it, I get really excited. Here are some images that give you a closer look at some of the details he put inside, so I think it's a very, very good mock. I really like it. Very inspirational. Well done. Make sure you go check out Vision Brick's video on this mock and supporting him by leaving a like on that video and subscribing to his channel. He did a a very good job and I and he would much appreciate it. The number two spot is taken by Lego Earth Productions who built a massive Star Wars mock. The size of this does correlate with the amount of quality he put in. There are so many minute details you have to really look for. It is overall absolutely amazing. I love how wild the place feels but I like the way he was able to blend a base, a Star Wars base, with wilderness. This took him almost two months to make which is crazy. That is a very long time to make a mock but I think it paid off really really well. I wish I could have all those foliage pieces and that whole mock on display in my room but unfortunately I can't. Make sure you guys go check out his video on this mock. I will link him down below. Go subscribe to him and leave a like on his video. He very much deserves it. Taking the number one spot is Brenny Brick in his Micropolis Police Station. The Micropolis scale is a certain building scale where you scale down large buildings to make a smaller city. Mocks built this way are very very interesting to see just because they're built so small, seeing how they achieve details in such a small scale is very very fascinating and that is one reason why I love this mock. I think he did an excellent job of incorporating small details on such a small scale. It looks fantastic. I like the little Batman easter egg he put in with the bat signal. Brenny Bricks also does mocks of the same style so I would suggest go checking out his channel. It is nice to see his other mocks like this connect to the police station. It's very very amazing to see. He also does mocks completely unrelated to this style if you don't really care for this style. So please go check him out. He makes very very high quality videos considering he's only been on YouTube for about a few weeks. He is truly amazing. He is growing very fast. He has done an amazing job in all of his videos and all of his mocks. He is a true inspiration. So go check him out. I will link him down below. But thank you guys so much for watching because that is the video. If you did enjoy any of the mocks in this video, make sure you go check the people out who built them. Don't even bother liking this video. Make sure you go check them out because they are the ones that need the credit. They did an amazing job. Also, thank you for everyone who submitted. I know I didn't get to feature all of you, but your mocks were absolutely fantastic anyways. I also do want to thank all of you guys for your support on my channel. I recently just hit 200 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all that you do for me. Make sure you guys keep building. Have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later.